Shabbat Shalom. Okay, what's the time? It's 7.02. 7.02 on the Sabbath. We are just chilling. We had some hard boiled eggs for breakfast. We got to the apartment here and me and Kaylin passed out. Jesse passed out. Dad and mom went to go get food, but dad fell asleep at a red light. So they came right home. And that was around 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't get a chance to actually go and get some food, but we have a few snacks here. We have some eggs. So we're gonna just kind of chill today. Then at sundown tonight, we are gonna go out, go get some food, and I'm really excited because that sounds like when the fun's really gonna start. I'm probably gonna get start getting ready here for synagogue pretty soon, which I can't film, so I'll probably get a little footage of today of us just like kind of getting ready for synagogue and like hanging out. After that, we will probably walk there. Dad wants to drive. Um, Mom's gonna scold him probably, and I'll probably just take Mom's side. But then we're going to chill. I'll probably edit some video today because we're not really doing anything. We're just hanging out. Everything's closed. It is so peaceful here. I've seen maybe three cars in total. So yeah, so we're chilling. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Feeling good. Woke up around like 5.45 a.m. because we went to bed at like 11. Like when we got here, I slept till probably 7 last night. So I like around from like 2.30 to like seven o'clock it went to bed around like 11 30 and woke up this morning at 5 45. feeling somewhat acclimated now to time zones obviously it was rough yesterday while driving into jerusalem it was like oh man i want to like get footage and i want to see the drive to jerusalem i don't want to fall asleep because i haven't seen this yet so on the way into jerusalem it was a beautiful drive um i could show the footage but like just hills all of these buildings that are carved out of this stone like this Jerusalem stone. If the Orthodox were to be coming toward us on this sidewalk, you point your camera down. You don't want to get them in a shot. We are on Shabbat, walking to synagogue. It is no one on the street here. We just went past Ben Yehuda Square, which is like super, super busy during non-Shabbat days. I'll get a video of that too, uh, of what that looks like. So I'm assuming we'll be down there at some point in time. I'll give you guys an update. Once we get to synagogue, I cannot film anymore. So I'll see you guys in about two hours. We did. 2018 was so special. It was a really good year. Barukata Adunai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kechanu Bemisotan Vesivanu Alita Las Lula Today was your first immersive service. Yes at uh, Nativia, what were your thoughts? It was really good. Just seeing all of the different nations together to learn. I don't know, it was great. There's a familiarity in a sense. What was it like hearing the Hebrew and the tra having the translator go take it to English for you? That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. To see the Hebrew language restored. Yeah. Being spoken again. Mm -hmm. um, did you miss the lights, camera, action? No. No? no I didn't. Did you notice that a lot of um, the service is, the way he explained it, 
it's your responsibility to come pray. Yeah. We're not doing this for you. No, yeah, exactly. We're not doing this for you. Yep. And I thought it was very interesting. Did you notice a certain gender taking the lead? Yeah. What was that like? Refreshing, again, <laughs> very refreshing. <laughs> Instead of just one man in the front, mm -hmm. it was many men. Mm -hmm. What did you think when your brother-in-law went up to? That was awesome. <laughs> he asks, after they've been reading parts of the Torah, they ask if anybody who has not come up ever. and ever come up and read the scriptures don't want to come <laughs> from the nations. Not just somebody from Israel, somebody from the nations. And so Kalen, of course, raises his hand. And so he's like, stand up. He's like, what's your name? He's like, Kalen. <laughs> what's your father's name? John. So he says, Kalen ben Yohanan. He's going to come and read part of the scriptures. I thought that was really cool. So today you got immersed oh, man. in the service at Nativia. How was this different from what you've experienced? Oh gosh. Well, I grew up in to... church for like 20 five, 26 years of my life, and it was completely different. I mean, I actually, uh, I think like you said earlier with Daniel, a lot of the fluff is stuff we see in the States. I mean, as much as I love playing guitar and singing, and I love that stuff, but it takes away from what we're supposed to be focusing on. Wasn't it interesting when they said, no filming, because this isn't a show for you. If you want to join us in prayer, you're here to pray with us. I actually really like that. I, re I really like the approach. There's no extra, there's no, we want to put on a show for everyone. This is between you and God. It really is. And so um, I like that emphasis on the fact that this is a very serious and private moment between us and our Creator and who we all are experiencing it together. So it was a good time. We are on the way over to First Station to go to Romney's place. And as we are driving out the windows down, you can smell the food. <sighs> it's smelling good. I'm excited to eat. Hungry. This area is first area where Jews began coming back by train to Israel. And they have now converted it to this long walking trail and park. And now vendors are here. And now this is a 24-7 restaurant and party area. And you're going to love it. Station is a place you definitely want to hit. <laughs> The bread is soft. Mm. Oh. Oh. You're facing the camera turned around. Ooh. This is good. Mama, you're gonna have to wait in the car. We're gonna have to throw down. Now we are following Rami to his other place. He's got another place down the strip here. He says he's got a, it's another place on top of the building. So we're about to go down there and he's gonna show us his new place.
the place where I would join with Rocky's wallet. <laughs> <laughs> These are all of some of the top of the line stores, of course. You've got uh, some of the best eating going on here at Roladeen. And it is just delightful and delicious and the ambiance is absolutely amazing. We're going to go this way and you're going to, it's going to take us up to the old city uh, at the Jaffa Gate, which is all throughout scripture, of course. Hey. Go. Goodness. It was ground zero for where the Almighty put his name. Get in the car. Grab yourself a move. <laughs> 